Hi everyone, it's James Mulvaney, founder of Radio.co. Welcome along to this video in which I'm going to be showing you some of our new functionality which we've just released. This is currently a beta feature, so um, please don't go asking for support. This is currently unsupported, but we have been testing it internally for the past six months. We've been really impressed with the results and the reason we're only releasing it as a beta feature is because we're not entirely happy with the UI yet. We want to improve it and make it a little bit better before uh, we kind of announce it as an official feature. However, if you have the broadcaster or station plan, it's there for you to use. It's working really, really well for us. So we'd love to invite you to try it out. And you get to it by clicking on the three little dots next to a track and then choosing track editor. What this will then do is it will load up a waveform and it will actually allow you to edit the cue points, or the uh, cue point and the fade length for each individual track. Now the point of this is to really tighten up your transitions. By default the system will have a default crossfade length, for example three seconds, which means each track will overlap by whatever you've defined in the settings. However, we understand that not every track is equal and we want to really improve on this functionality. And Some of the features that we'll be adding is automatic detection, so whenever you upload a song all of this stuff is going to be predefined based on a set of industry standard uh, parameters that we'll set um, so the system will automatically guess effectively where is best to be in and out um, but until we've got that you can manually edit it and of course when we do release that automatic functionality you'll still be able to manually override it we're also going to be improving this UI because we understand it is a little bit confusing right now so I thought I'd just make a quick video and just show you exactly how to use it so there you'll see two uh, waveforms one at the top which is kind of like a zoomed in version and then a bottom section which is the zoomed out and this grey box along the bottom you can drag that along and it will just allow you to quickly scrub around your track and there's four handles on each track two at the end and two at the beginning I'll just explain what, what each of them do because it's basically reverse for the ins and the outs so this first handle here is when the, the song will start playing so you've got to imagine your previous track is fading out and this one effectively is where this track will start playing from so if you want to skip the intro of a specific song what we'll do is we'll need to drag this so let's let's cut off this introduction here and the more you get the hang of this the more you work with audio you'll get to recognize what waveforms look like and you'll get to understand when is good to set these you can also preview by any uh, any time you want um, just by clicking if you um, move this uh, point around you see that's like a playhead and if you actually click on the play button down here, so we'll start playing from there. You'll hear there's nothing at the moment. And that effectively will allow you to, you know, uh, preview your track if you like. Okay. So I'll just show you that again. So and what we're going to do is just drag the playhead back to here. And because obviously this track hasn't started playing, you'll hear silence to begin with and then you'll hear the track fade in. So that's pretty cool. Gives you a bit of an idea of what it will sound like. Okay, um, let's go skip to the end of this track and see what we can do there. So you can see currently we've got a lot of white space at the end. This is because a lot of tracks have got a you know half a second of silence at the end of them that's just the way mp3s are we want to tidy that up so what we're going to do is we're going to set this is uh, the reverse of our intro so effectively if we go back here this is where the fade will start fading from so the fade out will begin at this point and the track will actually finish at this last handle it's completely the opposite way around of the uh, the intro um, so let's just try setting up out there and what we'll do is again we'll play our preview Make sure I've got it actually turned up on the desk here. So that's got quite an abrupt ending anyway. Um, you might even want to not have any kind of crossfade there, in which case you can dra drag these handles together. So this will basically mean that the entire end of the song is honoured and there's no fade out because that song does end really, really quickly. So have a play around. Hope you enjoy the feature. Um, thanks very much for watching this video. We're going to be trying to improve this significantly over the coming months. We're also wanting to add a couple more variables and options to this as well. So this is just part of our ongoing commitment to make your station sound awesome. Thanks very much for watching this video and I'll speak to you soon.